Catherine and I was 15 years old when my mum died. She was there in the morning before I went to school and then suddenly she wasn't there anymore. One of the teachers from school brought me home that day. She didn't tell me anything other than my dad wanted me to go home. When we got to the house it was full of people I didn't know but there was no one there from my family and no one told me anything. They just looked at me pitifully as if I'd done something wrong. But they didn't tell me what was going on. I went to my bedroom and I was there for ages and then one of my friends told me that my mum was gone to hospital and that's all I knew. I suppose I was afraid to ask what was really happening. It was dark by the time Dad got home and he told me that Mam had had an accident and she died. He told me not to worry, that everything would be okay, but it wasn't okay. My brother said Dad was tired and he needed to sleep, so I didn't ask any questions. The next day I knew there was something wrong, that she didn't just die. I heard my aunt say something about, why did you have so many tablets? But it was ages afterwards before I was able to even say in my head the word suicide. But nobody really told me anything. I don't remember the funeral much. After it, I went back to a friend's house and we watched DVDs. We didn't talk about the funeral at all. My nan stayed in our house for a few weeks, but then she had to go home. I went back to school. I didn't like it at all. Everyone just kept looking at me, and, but nobody said anything. The teachers didn't say anything. Well. Some of them did say they were sorry for what happened, but that's all, you know. I, I was just sad most of the time, but I tried not to show it. I left football after that and stayed at home a good bit. I thought it was all right after a while, you know, but everything was different. And no one ever told me what it should be like when you don't have your mum around. I mean, just even for the ordinary things. I got depressed and I didn't really talk about what was bothering me. I took a lot of antidepressants for a while. Maybe it was because the death was so sudden. I, I don't really know. No one ever asked me what I wanted. No one asked if I had any questions about what happened. To this day, Nobody has really told me what exactly happened. Even, even now, we don't say the word suicide in the family. And even though she's dead, like, I still wanted to talk to her, but I was never sure if that was okay. You know, and I, I would have really liked to see her in the hospital or in the mortuary, but uh, they wouldn't let me go. I have a few things belonging to her, you know, that kind of remind me of her and connect me to her. You know, the worst thing is that nobody talks about it. And if something awful happens in your life and, and nobody talks about it, <laughs> You know, maybe this makes no sense to you, I don't know, but it's really important to me. We need to talk about it.